In MathCAD, you can create parametric plots in two dimensions. That's where you create a plot where you have functions for X and Y in terms of an independent variable. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am in a brand new worksheet. I have no variables. I have no functions to find. Let's go right to the plots tab and I will go to insert plot. And let's do an XY plot. And here we have it on the sheet. Let me just move it a little more to, to the center. And so I've got my two different placeholders. Let's go to the placeholder for X first, and I'm gonna write a function sign. Let's do the sign, and I'll use some variable T. Now let's go to the placeholder for the Y axis, and I will do the cosine of T. Again, T right now is not defined. It's just an independent variable that I am using. And some of you may be looking at this and saying, okay, X equals sine of T, Y equals cosine of T. Well, when I click outside, hey, it's going to plot a circle. And let me grab that plot. Let's change the trace color to red and the trace thickness, make it a little bit bigger. And so that's how we create our parametric plot. You can go back and define T, for example, set it to a range variable or a step range variable if you want to limit the extent of the function being plotted. Be aware that this also works for the chart component. Let me scroll down to a bigger area that I can view. I will go to the math tab, chart component, insert chart components. And in the inputs area, I will right click, insert the X axis expression. And once again, I will use sine of T and then let's click over and right mouse click, insert the Y axis expression. I'll use the same cosine of T and then click on the outside. Now this looks a little bit ovalish because of the proportions of my chart component, but we can always fix that by resizing it. And of course you can double click on the chart component if you want to change different elements or aspects about it. For example, I can say that I don't want to have a plot border and then close out of here. But again, you can create your parametric plots in two dimensions in terms of some independent variable.